the scene has got in Passing the folks along the road Just as they were standing All the lads and lasses there All the smiling faces Gathered along the Scotswood Road To see the bleeding races Bit right. Oh, it bounced through to our test. 1962 on a summer's afternoon, we took the bus from Bambas, and she was heavy laden. Where we went along Collingwood Street, was on the road to Bladen. Oh, me lads, you should have seen us gunning, passing the folks along the road just as they were standing. All the lads and lasses there, all with smiling faces, gunning along the Scotswood Road. Good evening, people. Welcome back to another video. John Sinclair TV back again with a match reaction throughout the lead between Bournemouth and Newcastle United. Newcastle against Bournemouth at uh, St. James's Park. It finished Newcastle 1, Bournemouth 1 in a poor game today, especially second half. And not only that, it's just been a frustration that's straight in there. I've got um, Grace, I've got Tony, and I've got Sam giving to you guys. You okay? Yeah, not bad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking being better, John, but you know, I'm still here, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm excited to that as well. But um, there you go. But I'm uh, glad I got you on as well, Sam. I know you got plenty to see. If you like the video, like what you see, hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button. You know exactly what to do. And if you'd like to see my chat, click on the dollar sign. And if you'd like to become a member, you know exactly what to do. So we start with you, Chris. Um, give us a breakdown of today's game today, Pet. It wasn't. Oh, I do, do you know what? I honestly I don't know where to start. I really, really don't. I am. Um, I'll start off with I missed the first half because I finished work and I managed to catch the second half. Well, from what I heard from the first, well, from what I've seen of the second half, we just lacked. We lacked quality. We lacked end products. We just overall lacked in that third. No one. Everyone was. There was so many crosses coming in. And no one seemed to want to get on the end of it and want to uh, do anything with it. I think every single person on that pitch today was poor. I'm not going to sit here. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and single people out. I think an overall performance, no one was very good. No one was very was very strong. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what it is, right? It's so frustrated today, sort of thing. And um, I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know what to say, but... That is not a uh, game I want to see that dear. It's just that quality as well. As yeah. well. Um, we'll go with you, Chip Has. Give us a breakdown of your game today, mate. Um I'm so fucking annoyed, it's ridiculous. Um like the, a, a lot of them players mm -hmm. are just fucking shite, whether people like you saying it or not. It, they're fucking shite. Um I, I'm gonna I'm gonna single players out because I want to single the players out who don't fuck all on that game and they Ryan Fraser, what the fuck did he do for 90 minutes? He done nothing. He's meant him and Almron are meant to be on that pitch to provide for Isaac and they didn't even create them with one opportunity. What the fuck's the point of them being on the pitch? They're on the pitch to create and they created fuck all. It's all right, Miggy, having his smile and he good work, mate. But I want to see end product from him and I saw fuck all from him. <laughs> What what the fuck was Shaw Longstaff doing when he came on? He was like a fucking oil tanker in the middle of flipping on St. James's Park. Just he offers nothing. He's got no mobility or nothing. Will it got in good areas of day and flipped fluff these lines? Bruno, you could see Bruno was off it because he's been off for a couple of weeks, so you could tell he was rusty. And it's just annoying that you know I feel so sorry for Isaac up front because he's getting no service or nothing. <laughs> And he's mm. being fed off fucking scraps like Callum Wilson was under fucking Bruce because a lot of them players are still there. That shouldn't be fucking mm. there. And it completely pisses me off that, you know, they they're, they're get that Eddie Howe's got his hands tied because he can't bring anybody else on because of that. Mm. And um, I'm not having to go at anybody. I'm not having to go at this sort of thing. I'm having to go at the previous regime because it shows the lack of care and the lack of fucking respect they had for us as a club, giving these players like Murphy fucking five-year contracts. The bloke's fucking useless. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he can't do anything with a football. 
He's a, it's a bit like going to a rugby player. There's a football at your feet. Go and do something with it. He can't do anything with it. He's like Forrest Gump. He just runs and that's it. Miggy's the same at times. Just runs. That's it. It's, it, you know, I mean, look at Madison tonight for Leicester. He's been outstanding tonight. And if he wants to come in January, I want to see us fucking gang get him because he is better than them two put together. And again, it was a chance mm. for them to get in that team to say, listen, when Maxi's not fit, I deserve a call up, but none of them fucking do. It's ridiculous. You know, and what, again, fans are saying, though, how out, and I'm thinking, what planet are they on? It's not the manager's fault he's been dealt this shite because it's the previous regime's neglect of the club. That's the reason why we've got them. And the fact they put them on stupid long contracts instead of be, being done with them and upgrading them. I'm just so fed up, and I'm sorry I'm going to say this, but you won't finish 10th if you don't beat teams like Bournemouth at home. You won't finish in the top 10. It's as simple as that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. wow. Honestly, well, I might need a drink. I might need a drink now. I might need a drink now. I'll be forced to be tried. Say how it is. Say it how it is, Chip. Say it how it is, my guy. Um, listen, I'm going to leave the comments to by the way. I've been toned in because he is, I tell you what, if Chip's on fire, I don't want to be like, oh, I I like coffee, by the way. Um, Aza Minjan with the first game after the international break. I don't know what's going on, but we we badly missed him today, by the way. We don't have a plan B in teams. So I figure last week in four for B in team selections, set up accordingly, pull him off, just part the bus, and it's on the counter attack. Exactly. We need VR to the position to let you a point first, really. That's just sums up oh, sums it up today. <clears throat> sums it up. Big up to again, I agree. And Mark, big up to Mark was saying also that we need a creative midfield and we buy Botman and bench them anyway. Well, I think Eddie Howard may come into question of the team section today. It may. And big up to Leslie, just point the day, but going to wait until to see if I feel differently. And Dino was the winner of my competition. And um, that quality in the final third. I hope you enjoyed the nil, but um, I think you must be gutted, really, by the way. Um, hey, gang, I hope you're well. I mean, after today's performance, not really. People need to chill out. A poor performance day. Yes, people expect us to play everyone else off the park. Be patient, besides four or five players. We're still. John, oh, John can I come in with that? We haven't played a fucking game in two weeks. So them players should have been fresh to fucking play it today. There's no fucking excuses today. I've defended the players all season, saying that they've put their effort in and the commitment, but there was fuck all out today, mind. I'm sorry, but there wasn't. There was no. Yeah, I agree, man. Um, I had a said Murphy said a word on fear, on fear so I belong to that belongs to that Bruno. We need a lead at top. Um, yeah, Efren, big up to Seth in the chat, by the way. <laughs> Jefferson Noyd. Chip to the right, let's go. I hope Eddie kicks a lot of them up the arse. That's from Gary. Chip, I should have done the team talk at half time. I tell you what, if I was a player, I'll, well, I don't know. Even or not, not the result we expected, but from Gareth. Tony, um, well, give us a breakdown. Give us a breakdown on today's game, mate. Well, John, we had high hopes before this game kicked off. We um, we've had the, you know, we had the unexpected break. Um, so the players were fresh. Bruno was back, so everybody was buzzing that he was back. Um, first half, nothing to write home about at all. We had chances. Joe Linton hit the post. Um, and then the save coming off uh, from Fraser at Neto. Um, and lucky Kieran Trippier's free kick hitting the post as well in the first half. The only the problem I thought, and this wasn't just the first half, but I thought throughout the whole game, we weren't moving that ball quickly enough, and we looked too pedestrian at times. We were not, we were not doing anything quick enough. We were slow. We weren't hurrying. We should have been quickening that game up. We should have quickened that ball up, because had we quickened that, they would have been under pressure. And I was expecting them to fall in the second half, and they didn't fall. Bournemouth. And it was an absolute shambles that match today. I'm absolutely gutted that we've only got a point out of that game because we should have won that game. I'm sorry, but we should have won that game. No disrespect to Bournemouth. They are shit. Hmm. And 
All they done all game was park the bloody bus. That's all they did. They frustrated us, and we didn't have an answer to their tactics, and that was the problem. And I did see in the in the build up to the match, Billing will be the one. Do not give him space because he will score. And what happened? We gave him space, and he scores. Absolutely diabolical. Nothing Pope could do about it. Um, you know. The only one who really did well in that game today and probably I would give man of the match to would be mm -hmm. Kieran Trippier because he tried everything. He was trying to do everything, getting the crosses in, you know. He was trying to, he was leading from the back as he does as a true captain. Almiron, what? I'm probably going to get slated for this. Waste of space. Sorry, he's not a right winger. Can't cross a bloody ball. Fraser, useless as well. No good. I don't know what's happened to Anderson. He's obviously got an injury, which is a bloody shame because I would have played him ahead of Fraser. A lot. Um, absolutely diabolical Fraser. So our wingers are crap. We missed ESM because I've had we had Maximum, he would have <laughs> run at that defence, and they would have been they wouldn't have known what to do with him. We saw what Neto was doing coming out <laughs> for balls, but why did we keep putting high balls in for him to pluck out of the air? We knew what he was up to. We knew he was doing it. But we still put the same ball in. Ball after ball after ball. Same result in his hands. In his hands. Um, you know, and just thank God it took VAR. Well, it was Trippier who ran to uh, the referee and said, come on, that was a handball. And then, um, you know, and then thanks to VAR looking at it. And I noticed this, <clears throat> John, when, well, when I, when I, where I was watching it, yeah, I noticed on there when they went to the V because they show you the VAR room on there, which they don't show you on Sky. No. And they were looking at all the angles mm -hmm. and they give the referee every angle, which I thought was absolutely mm -hmm. brilliant. And that's where Craig Pawson came to that decision. Because I'll tell you now, Craig Pawson hates us. He is a shit referee. If if Bournemouth's got a man in the match, they want to thank Craig Pawson because he was their man in the match because he was absolutely mm -hmm. diabolical. Mm. Some of the mm. some of the fouls he was given against us, they weren't even fouls. Half their players weren't touched, you know. And it was oh. just, I just think Craig Pawson mm. has it in for us. Um, so another one of these referees, I can't referee a game in the Premier League. Just thank God for VAR today, anyway, because that penalty saved us. And I'll tell you what, Isaac put that penalty away superbly. He totally bamboozled <laughs> Neto. Neto went the total wrong way and it was a hell of a penalty. I know there was a bit of thing between him and Trippier. Like, Trippier was like, well, will I take it? And Isaac kept a hold of the ball and as if to say, no, I'm taking it. You know, it's mine. I'm taking it. So, you know, fair play to him. Um, <coughs> but the problem with Isaac was he wasn't given any service whatsoever. He was feeding off scraps, John. And the problem <laughs> is We've got a £63 million striker there. The only way he's going to put that ball in the back of that net is if he's getting the service. You know, but if you don't feed him, he ain't going to score. It's simple as that. And that is the problem. There was nobody there to feed him. We bring Jacob Murphy on, another one who's a load of crap, John. When he come on, I just thought, well, he has a super sub coming on. Not a super <laughs> sub, a shit sub. That's what he is. Because he's absolutely diabolical. Longstaff does nothing. You I know, can't do him a bit. I can't do him a bit, man. And, you know, and because I mean, yeah, fair enough. They took Bruno off after seventy-one minutes, which is fair enough because he's he's been out for a few weeks. He's getting back to fitness. You can't expect him to play ninety minutes. But we mm. could not break mm. down Bournemouth. If we can't beat a mm. team like Bournemouth, we don't deserve to finish in the top seven, John. We do not deserve it. Mm. Yes, it's all right. We've lost one game. We've won one and drew five. What we're going to become, the draw specialists, because it's absolutely mm. diabolical. Eddie Howe is now being found out. And I'll tell you why he's being found out. And I'm not having to go Eddie Howe at all, yeah? Mm. But if Wilson comes back, I think Eddie Howe needs to start changing things. He needs to play Isak and Wilson up front together. Mm -hmm. He needs to revert to a 4-4-2. Because mm. every team knows we play 4-3-3 mm. three, three every <clears throat> single game. Mm. And doesn't matter who's on that mm. pitch. 
the team we are playing, they're going to study our our formation and say, well, it'll be the same. It'll be a four-three-three. So we'll just we'll just stop them. Mm. If we can stop them playing, then you know, mm. I mean, my target wasn't too bad, but his crosses mm. weren't the best today. The only one who was putting decent crosses in or trying was Trippier. Mm. Um, mm. Joe Linton was busting the gut to try and get the match won as well. He was unlucky to hit the post as well, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, John. Eddie Howe's being mm. found out with his formation. <laughs> if you want to become a brilliant manager, you've got to start switching your formations around. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, these teams are just going to mm -hmm. find you out game after game after game. Mm -hmm. Willick, I like Joe Willick. I really do. But I thought today, Willick was well off the pace today. Well off the pace. He just didn't look at the races at all today. Um and he's had two weeks off, so he should be all right as well, but he just hasn't. Yeah. But the thing is, we just need to start doing something. Do you know what I would have done today? I would have played a 4-4-2 and maybe put Wood up there alongside Isak. I know a lot of people might say, oh, Chris Wood. But yeah, but put him up. I would have dropped Joe Willick, put Chris Wood on, played him alongside yeah. Isak, because this is a type of game, if you put crosses in, Wood will battle with them sort of defenders. And... At the end, you know, and the thing is, though, John, I think it just me, just has to go back down that Eddie Howe <coughs> needs to start looking and changing his formation. He's got to stop this, stop going 4 3 3 every week. Fair enough, Bournemouth have came <coughs> and they've parked the bus. But when we go to away grounds, it'll be totally different because we'll get that extra bit of space. But Bournemouth have come, they've played a game. They frustrated. They were playing for a draw. You could see that from the kickoff. They were playing for a draw. And if you mm -hmm. watch the way they were, they had their banks of men back all the time. And, um, you know, <laughs> um, I just, uh, and that's Anessi. He's he's just a dirty twat anyway, John. So, yeah. Um, you know, him, I, I wish they'd played the other keeper in goal, mm -hmm. Travers, because I tell you what, I think we would have won that game if he was in goal, because that Neto okay. played well for them. But, and I thought Neto was a crap keeper, John, if I'm honest, because he's not even rated at Barcelona. Hmm. Well, he's played for Fiorentina as well, mate. And um, I pity did have it there, but he went to Barca. And um, yeah, he did have it at Fiorentina. So today, I think they made it easy for him today, in my opinion. Right, the cross was coming in. He made it look so easy. And when that cross came in, it went too close to him. The ball went too close to him. And it just made it look so easy today. Honestly, the balls went too close to him. And he said that Isaac had no service whatsoever. And he must be thinking, you know what? What am I coming here for? I didn't have to leave with our social dad. I should have stayed there. I got a service there. But look at this player. I said, you're thinking, you know what? When Isaac was there, he had David Silva behind him. Yeah, X-Man City. Yeah. He looks at, he looks at, the, he looks at the place of fun. When he looks over his shoulder, he's got Sean Longstaff there. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. But today, Bournemouth was asking the questions today. They said, come on, come on. Let's ask, come on, we're asking the questions. What have you got? What have you got? You know what? It's all you got. You're quite weak, you know. And if we're in the building site, we play four foot feet. Ed is not changing things up. We're being found out, yeah. And he needs, he needs to change it up. If he changes it up, right, shock us. Do you know what I mean? But the, the thing is, is oh, sorry, John. Go on, go on, Sam. The thing is, as well, as we get better and we get better players, teams are going to start doing mm -hmm. this, putting ten men behind the ball, and we where the team has to break them down effectively. Because you look how it's happened. When, like every team, like who plays sort of the bigger teams, that always put ten men behind the ball, don't? And I just think it's going to get to a stage where. We keep signing better players. Opposition teams are going to start doing that rather than play football or mm -hmm. anything like that. It's going to be a case of we have to break them. It's uh, the onus is on us to break the other teams down rather than them having to break us down because they might get us on the counter like Bournemouth did today with one counter attack we scored. You know, and I mean Pope had now to do the whole game apart from pick the ball out of the net. Exactly. So that's it's just again it's. 
I, I, again, I, I still find it strange why Portman was dropped because Portman should have been fine this season. I just think, well, you're taking him out and you're putting Burn in unless Portman's got a niggle, fair enough. But if he hasn't, then I don't know why you take him out and disrupt the partnership. It's, I, I don't know. I think as well, I think, if I'm being honest, the other players were very complacent today and they just thought they could just turn up and get three points as opposed to going out there putting a performance on like they have been doing. And earning it, um, exactly. because you, apart, this was our worst performance of the season. We can, people can say what you want, but it was because in every other game we've at least put their fight in and we've created numerous chances, but we just haven't scored them. Today we created very little. Well, I think about four chances. I think they keep having about two or three saves a whole game. It's mm-hmm. not enough at home against a team that's just been promoted and who got spanked nine nil three weeks ago. You know. Exactly. Absolutely, uh, Sam. Absolutely. I'm um, going through his comments quickly, yeah, because there's quite a few flying in. Flying in, love the ball under the box all game. Plan B, do the same thing with a couple of different players. Very poor to dear. Very poor indeed. Yes, we were poor to dear. Hi, see you soon. Um, best bit of football to roll tribute. <laughs> I have to agree, kind of. Eddie will be gone by Christmas at this rate. Over 200 million spent, and we still can't finish bottom half the teams off. Eventually, questions must be asked. Grace, what do you think of that? He won't be gone, Chris. Surely no. not. Surely I mean, not. No, I mean, the thing is, the team, the players he's got, yeah, he spent that much. However, he's still got players who, who are under Bruce, who are, who are champion, who are championship players, Max, and they've got contracts that he kind of terminates, you know? There's just, sadly, we're just like sort of stuck at the minute. Yeah. So we can get, so we, until we can get all the garbage <laughs> out. <laughs> We're just we're just stuck, and that's not Eddie Howe's fault. That's previous, that's previous ownership and previous, previous management. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, and the thing is, right? I mean, like Chip said earlier on, I mean, I should put two fingers up. I mean, that's the people's ownership's fault. We're giving Murphy a big contract, right? And all the players are not good enough. Carl Darlow as well, five year contract. Yeah, shocking decision there. But fans already started to boo Eddie after the game. Up the chairs and Callum, well done on your point today, but I wasn't really that impressed with you today. We did have John. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie House, you? Eddie House spoke, and he, this is what he's had to say after the game. I think it's a fair result. We we are disappointed with our performance. There was just something missing from us today. We weren't quite our intense selves. The opposition played deep, a lot of men behind the ball, very compact, mm-hmm. and they didn't take a lot of risks. But we knew that was coming. We prepared for that. <laughs> there were no surprises for us. It was up to us to break it down. The crowd stuck with us, so there is no one else to look at other than ourselves. <laughs> we need to analyse the game and figure out what we could <laughs> have done better. Yeah, good luck with that, because you've got Fulham next, and that will not be easy. That and will then, not be easy. And then this is Gary O'Neill's response for Bournemouth. I'm really disappointed with the penalty. I've seen it back a couple of times. I don't know what Jefferson Lerma was meant to do, really. He's not looking at his arms. They were by his side, and there is no way he was meant to hand ball that or hand. is an unnatural position. It's a real tough one, especially after Lloyd Kelly won at Forest, that they looked at and decided not to overturn. Then today, for them to overturn it, I thought was harsh on the boys. Newcastle are a good side. They're very aggressive and play forward a lot. We suffered in moments, but the boys stood up to it and knew what it was going to be look like that. Early in the game, we were trying to be a tad more aggressive, but as the game goes on, they gain control mm. and we have to drop off and need to be sensible and defend our box. Yeah, absolutely. Muppet. Right. Is that, is, yeah. I it's mean, a Muppet because but... that was a penalty, John, all day. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. All yeah. day long. He must be. He must be drunk coming into the game. You know what I mean? And I, I'm so I'm surprised they gave it to the amount of fucking VR decisions we haven't been getting. I thought they were fucking shattered when they said, "Oh no, me penalty." I was half expecting mm. that to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'll review Chip as I review. I mean, Gage's game has said, um, how many drop players? Then he also said as well, most of the most teams is the F and Gore, and he's uh, took on anyone. He was Tuckle. No, oh, for God's sake. 
No, I don't. He wants think a break so. anyway from football, so he won't be in. He won't be out. He won't be in the manager GVL hot, hot seat for quite a while yet. But exactly. I just yeah. think that that ha- that was handball all day, John. And uh, yeah. you know where I was watching it, Shearer was on it um, analysing, and Alan Shearer yeah. said we didn't deserve to win that game. He says absolutely yeah. shocking. He says disgraceful. He says we yeah. had twenty shots at goal. He says and, you know. And we could only score one goal, and he says that's via a penalty. Yeah, sums it absolutely sums it, man. I mean, we need um, a right side of midfield, right? Madison, if Madison played first today, and Diaby played first today, we would on that game of East today. Let's be real, right? Because I love Miggy. Don't get us wrong, I do love Miggy, right? But he has too many touches on the ball, right? <clears throat> and when he takes shot today in the first half, it was a weak shot straight and netto, right? Yeah. And I know what it is, right? I'm not going to cuss Miggy, right? But he lacks quality. And I'm not having a go. Foxy, in the chat, I'm sorry, but he lacks quality. I want my wingers to score 10 goals in that season. 10 goals, 10 assists, yeah? And I'll go with Chip, I'll go with you, Chip has, right? Do you think I'm right? Yeah. What I'm saying about um, Chip, about um, Miggy? I'm, if I'm wrong, tell us. No, I agree. I, I, I... It one last season he got one goal and one assist. No offense, but what the fuck? That's that's a twenty million pound rated player scoring one goal and one assist all season. No offense, but that's fucking hopeless. That's that's no offense, but that's Jacob Murphy stats. It really is. It's it's shite. It's championship. Like, people in the different wingers in the championship assist more and create more. And I'm sorry, but people can say, oh, he puts the work rate in and all that new. But no, we need more than just work rate. We need end product with his work rate. And he creates nothing. So he's not doing the job he's on the pitch for, unfortunately. Yeah, this is the thing. I mean, he's got ability. We can see Mick, he's got ability, right? He's got a left foot like a thunderbolt, yeah? He's quick, yeah? At times... He gets frustrated. He frustrates the hell out of us, right? I don't like to cross a player, but he frustrates the hell out of us, yeah? He works hard. He's a 10 out of 10 for hard work. And the graphs, yeah? For a smile, I'll give him a 10. But as a player this season, right, I'll give him a borderline 7 today, right? I'll, I'll probably give him a 6 because, <clears throat> yeah, he tried. But look, at the end of the day, <sighs> frustration, man. How is getting found dude? And the thing is, John. When, sorry. The th- the thing with Miggy is, yeah, man. He, he when he when he's given the ball across, he mm-hmm. he sort of looks to to hand the ball back because he looks as if, oh, I don't know how to cross mm-hmm. the ball, it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then the move breaks down, you know. There was a couple of times today where Trippier Trippier gave him the ball and he just didn't know what to do with it. And it's like, <laughs> you know, he's not a natural right winger. We need a natural right winger. Yes, he does the work great, John. He has the pace. Yeah. But there's no end product, no quality at the end of it, John. And, but. you know, as much as, like, even if Foxy's in the chat, if he says, oh, yeah, but Mickey, I don't care what Mickey is, mm. we want to say end product. And I'm sorry, if if you want to get go, I mean, you look at last season, like Musa Diaby for Leverkusen, tw- um, 12 goals and 13 assists. That's from a right winger. That's what you want from a right winger. You want that sort of thing. Madison, 12 goals from midfield. That's what you yes. want from your midfielders. That's what you need, John. You know? Um, mm-hmm. like we've been linked with like we're linked with a South Africa <laughs> from uh, from Ukraine, you know, Mikhailo Mundrick. Mudrick, he's only 21. You know, mm-hmm. he's played two Champions League games, two goals, two assists. That's what you want, John. You need to exactly. say that in your team that are yeah. going to not only score, but also provide the creativity for the front play- front players to score. And that is what yeah. we are badly missing. I'm not saying Bruno hasn't got the creativity because he has some of his passing today was absolutely spot on to Trippier, yeah. you know, uh, on the right wing. But Trippier can't be playing as a right winger and a right back at the same time, you know. Exactly. It's just when he needs help in front of him, <laughs> but he hasn't got it with me because... You know, Mickey just hasn't got that quality. I'm sorry. And um, Fraser, well, it's pointless talking about him because he's absolutely yeah. garbage as well. And then Murphy okay. does know better. I mean, Ryan Fraser had a shot in the first half, which Neto made a great save after uh, uh, Joe Linton's effort was also saved by the goalkeeper as well. But at the end, he's had another shot for us in the second half, which um, went wide as well. But I tell you something, Fraser, don't get us wrong. 
I mean, he's a squad player at best. He's not a first teamer. He is a squad player at best. Um, I've got Surrender, by the way. Big up to you, mate. Um, we struggled to break them down in the middle, and we're very predictable from the wings of our crosses. We're a proper target, man. If crosses were our plan, at least Wood shall have been at on early. Absolutely right. Miggis just had one good run across the box. His left foot shot is weak and bumped towards the keeper. Jackie B. It was a horrible performance. Disgusting defend for that goal. Too many championship level players on that pitch today. And you know what? It is shocking. Absolutely shocking. We all know the weak part of Isaac's game is headed right. He likes it two feet so he can create space and shoot. No service at all whatsoever. Not good enough. Uh, go with um, scoreboard. We all struggle against a team that parks the bus. We are, we are at the start of building the team. Our mere on fears alongside Murphy, Will, etc. aren't good enough, and, and but will be replaced over time. Grace, do you agree with that? Those players will be replaced over time. <laughs> Hello. I can't hear you. you my little brother was coming in to say what was going on. Oh, bless him. <laughs> I wonder what he thought of the game today. <laughs> no, he, 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 no, he watched the first half and that was out now. I'm going to for the second half. That's what bless he him. thought of it. Sorry, John, what were you saying? No, no, sorry, sorry. I'm used to boss, isn't he? Um, I was just saying about, um, the score was just said there, we always struggle against a team that passed the bus. We had to start building the team. I may have on three side, alongside Murphy, Willock, etc. aren't good enough and will be replaced yeah. over time. Definitely, definitely. I think the the championship, you know, the championship quality players are not they're not they're not players who who that we want when we want to aim high, we want and you know, at some point to to aim for Europe and them them players aren't gonna take us mm. to Europe. They've shown it they've shown it a day. Like I was rooting, like I like I like Miggy, I do. And like from seeing him pre season, I was like, Yes, this is gonna be his season. I, I, but it just hasn't. It, yeah, it just he just seems to. I don't know. I think for me, I think he's a little bit like a rabbit in the headlights when he gets the ball. I don't think he really yeah. knows what he, what he wants, like what he wants to do. He doesn't seem to have confidence or confidence or anything, anything to cross in. And sometimes when he does have, it, I get frustrated because he, he moves it that much to try get it on his left where he likes it. He mm. ends up losing it. Mm -hmm. I know that's the thing, and it is so for sure. I want to see him get that ball, run at the players, be yeah. direct, get the crosses in. And that's another thing. We're so pedestrian the deer. We're not putting the ball quickly forward, you know, moving the bar quickly. Do you know what I mean? Get the balls in, straight away, shock them. I thought that Mathen had a good get out of defending well, by the way. He really did. Um, he won't win seven says so all. And um, look at this one, Manda and Merad. Memorad must be bored watching the game today. I think we all were. Whereas Foxy, he's got me in the room somewhere. Every week I get excited after hard week's work. I'd be disappointed. Knee jerks like that is on the scoreboard. We're the brighter of the last season now. We are, at the minute we are. I think it's bad when we're allowing on Wilson so much. We seriously need to think beyond him. He's always injured. Sad, but that's a fact. Tony, um, Tony. for me, we said this yesterday. We talked about Callum Wilson. For me personally... If he does fix up this season, the injury sort of thing, I love him. I do, do love him. But do you think he should get a striker in for next summer to kind of replace Callum? Because his injury record is not the great. Yeah, John. I mean, yeah, he's not. I mean, you know, I've said before, John, if he stayed fit for a whole season, you'd see 20 plus scores out of this guy. And this, this is a sad part about it. And the sad fact is he, he can't stay fit for a full season. Um you know, if he comes back and say it breaks down again in a month or two or whatever, the sad thing is you're going to have to replace him. I mean, they were talking about last year, last season, or, you know, we might extend his contract. I'm sorry, don't extend his contract because, you know, he, he, I, I think Callum Wilson's a hell of a striker. He's a great, on his day, like he's one of the, you know, he's a brilliant striker and he knows where the back of the net is. But, when you're not getting a full season out of him, like last season when he pulled up against Man United, he was out for four months, John, you know, and that's four months mm. of the season. You've, you've lost a key striker, exactly. you know, and like, so mm. like after the, um, you know, so this mm. time he's been out for, he's been out for about four weeks. So hopefully he might be back by the time we go to play Fulham, mm. but he may not be. We don't know. We, 
we're not showing mm. what um, updates on him at the moment. So I think next summer, definitely, because don't do it in January because it's too expensive. But I think next summer, definitely look to get another striker that can that's near the quality of Wilson or, you know, <laughs> and bring him in just to, you know, to be on the bench. I mean, because the thing is, at the end of the day, we are, you, you look to the bench and you see Chris Wood. Sorry, but he ain't going to come on and grab you a goal in any of the, like, a game. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. say, if you want him to come on and, and latch onto a ball and zoom through the defence and bang it in the back of the net, like Callum Wilson would do, he ain't going to do that. He's mm-hmm. not that type yeah. of player, Chris Wood. Definitely you not. Know? Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe we missed a trick in the summer. Should we have gone to Blackburn and got Brereton and Diaz for mm-hmm. about 10 to 15 million for a 23-year-old? Yes, he's he's proved it in the championship, but he could have been that striker you have on the bench. At least you could have brought mm-hmm. him off. I mean, he's no slouch in front of goal because he's done it for Chile in the Copa America. You yes. know, mm-hmm. so when you think his first nine games for Chile and he scores three goals, you know, that's one in three for international, which isn't bad for an international team. And he could have been the type that you could have said, All right, okay, I need I need a goal, get him off the bench and get him on. He would have got that goal, but you can't say yeah. that about Wood. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to go out and get somebody next summer just to just to come in and then what do you do with Wilson? Do you sell him on or do you just keep him there mm-hmm. as a you know as a bit part player? But um it all depends how many games we get out of Wilson once he's back after this injury. That's what we've got to see. And then that'll we can assess that over the season. But um yeah, I think we missed a trick not not going in. We should have gone in hard and got him really. Even if we'd said, Look, take Wood on loan or take Murphy for mm-hmm. him, you know. Yeah. Um, mm. and, and we could have had Ber- mm. he could have sat on the bench, Burton Diaz, and then he at least you got somebody there who could come off the bench and is some mm. sort of threat, you know. I don't know what you think of that, John. Uh, Burton Diaz, um, look, he's ripping up in the championship, and um, I think me personally, I think he'd really been irate, you know. I would have took a chance on him, do you know what I mean, and see what he does, and um. You said that he's no slouch in front of goal. He's a finisher, both feet, powerful, six foot one, and he's a target man as well. And he loves headers as well. And I tell you something, we could have done no worse getting him now. Do you know what I mean? So back up. But... John. Go on. John is Isaac. Do you not think Isaac's the replacement for Wilson? I say I say he is, definitely, because I'm a fan of Isaac. I'm definitely a fan of that guy. Do you know what I mean? 100 percent but we still need another striker because Chris Wood's not good enough. Callum Wills, we don't know how long he's going to be, right? But whatever happens, Isak should be our number one striker. I don't know what you think, um, Sam. Yeah, he, it wasn't that what he's bought for. I mean, you don't pay £60 million for, mm. for, for, for a player, do you? Not to play him. Um, no, but what I'm saying for is... For me, I what think... I'm, what I'm saying is, right? I mean, we know not Chris Wood's not good enough, right? I mean, Callum mm. Wilson... We love him, right? But we want 30 plus games from him, yeah? We cannot afford him his four months out of football. I think that's the second time he's done that now. It happened last season, you know what I mean? But would you use Callum as super sub or would you play him from the front for playing from the beginning? Well, you've got to have him as a sub because if you're paying 60 million pounds for a player, you've got to play him to get the, you know, you don't just play. You, we aren't in the position to, to have luxuries of 60 million pound players sitting on subs benches. You know, we aren't in that position when, say, mm. for example, you look at day like if you, if if Wilson was fit, you could have Wilson, Isaac, and maybe Fraser Armour on, and you think no offence, but yeah, why would you have? And then you look at you could look at the bench and say if Murphy was on instead of Isaac, why would you do that if Wilson was fit? Mm. Why would you have? Why would you spend all that money in the summer on a marquee signing and not play yeah. him? He's got he's oh. got a start. Simple as that. Yeah, he's got to play every week. That's what I'm saying. He's got to play every single week. But Callum Wilson, for me, I mean, like, um, would it be would it be a first teamer for me? I say Isak would be a number one striker. That's what I'm saying. And then have Wilson as a subs, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Keep Wilson yeah. along that line. Keep him. So, well, I mean, I'm a Wilson fan. Go on, Tony. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing is as well with Broughton Diaz, he can play a right wing, left wing and striker. So he's got <laughs> the three positions that he can play. So even if he was in the, even if we'd gone in the summer, he could have played on the right wing now or he could have played on the left mm. wing. I mean, this season mm. he's played, he's played four games in the, four games, uh, sorry, he's played 10 games and scored four goals mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. one assist already, you know, um, and that was him playing on the left for Blackburn. Yeah, that's a fair shout. I mean, I think he's on a new contract anyway. He's on a new contract and um, I think he'll be, he's happy to Blackburn as well. So we see what happens on that, whether they get up the season or not. Callum as well, to be fair, he's amazing. We defend so well. He's a Bournemouth fan, obviously. Mate, he's ex capable of scoring. We know that he's really early ASM was missing for us. You have to be putting teams like Bournemouth away at home with an extra week off to train. Paul, you're right, mate. You're right. Steve Bruce would have lost his heat after that performance. He would have blamed the fans too. What happened to Newcastle? Well, we were shite today. The game was made for Wood. Should have come on the second half. Frank, FC UK, we got the decision off the AR for the whole half. I don't get why you already put the subs on late. Dustin Tiger. Form up all kind of opposition quit with the score against. And um, it just we just class dealt with we just class dealt with it. What do, what's your pin on that one, Tony? For my fan, Callum. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I, I mean, I've got to disagree. Bournemouth aren't a class team. Mm. Um, <laughs> they, they're just they're just a boring team. They're just playing ten men behind the mm. ball, basically. Um, they're parking the bus. I can see why he's doing it because he wants the job, the manager, and I mean. But we couldn't. The problem is we couldn't break them down, and that that's not good on our part. If we can't break a team down like Bournemouth, I mean we played City, and look how well we played against Man City. You mm -hmm. know, probably should have won that game, but we got a three-all draw of it. We were close against Liverpool. We were outdone by VAR refereeing. You know, so um, yeah, it, Bournemouth are just. They've got some, I mean, yes, they've got some good players in that team. Don't get me wrong. You know, like I said to you, Billings are a danger. But um, but we should have we should have put them to bed, really. Mm. We had chances to do it and just if you don't put your chances away, John, you don't win games, simple as that's where the problem of our season, Tony. John, I'm sorry. Can I just say that Bournemouth fan three weeks ago he has lost to nine nil? So I'm sorry, <clears throat> nine nil. You, you, you can't say that he's not a good side. I'm sorry, but you can't. If you lose a game nine fucking nil in the Premier League, you can't say you're a good side at all, whether you like it or not. <laughs> nine <laughs> nil. Just say that. I'll say that again. Nine nil. We've never lost <laughs> nine nil in the fucking Premier League. Come on. So you oh, know. Give us some fire tonight. Nine, right. <laughs> well, come on. They're, they're not a good side if they've, they've lost. The, I'm sorry, they're not. They had no intent of winning that game today. They had one shot on target in the full game line. They were a good side. If they were a good side, they would have held on and beat them. But they're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, Callum, I mean, yeah, that's both of it. <laughs> I mean, Callum, you've had a fucking Sinclair, mate. Simple as. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. And Ghost thinks, thinks I'm still a United fan, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too, right? <laughs> am I guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Secretly. John, John, after this, you'll be going to watch, you'll be going to watch the Man United treble season now while again, <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> Uh, I think they get top four this season, let's turn it out, aren't we? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, give us oh, Give us oh, oh. We'll see. Give us fucking oh, no, 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 he's turning it, he's turning it around. He's turning it around. Um, he's turning it around. The, anyway, quickly, quickly, off to, uh, got to be a Viking. We do not know why to break down team style. They can sit behind the ball. We need to be bored to change up our style, tactics and shape to it. You are right there, Beers and Tony. You exactly said that. Things cost in the next game. That's from Fulham. The crap thing for me, we are still having the same post match conversation speakers. I hope these days were gone. And Neto um, from Callum was unreal. To be fair, he made some cracking saves today. I can't lie. He's just looking around and seeing hand rules. 
not including Chips or Bruno, us and um, us from um, Tiger. If we're winning, if we're winning and running now, let's have a look at Tom month ago. At least we have some players we're able to put this right. And Sanchez scored a crack and goal us and four two to Spurs. Six two. Six two six now, two. isn't it? Yeah, six two, John. He's done. Yeah. Happy Roger, Rogers is done. He John, is done. John can, John can I say I've got a goal because um, my takeaway is coming. No problem, <laughs> yeah. What, what are you having? What are you having tonight? Yeah, what you having, oh, I'm treat, I'm, it's P weekend, so I'm treating myself with dominoes because. You know, I'm still waiting for Grace's mom to invite us room for tea. Ah! So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, hey, me, yeah. me, me mom's away. Me mom's away on holiday this week, so I've got a nice free house all week. So it's a Domino's. Come on, nice one. Okay, well. yeah, I'm no. Oh, no, just a just a margarita. Mm. Oh, nice, aren't they? Nice. Uh, big up, big up. Listen, we enjoy your tea chips, and um, I catch you there. Cheers, Cheers you as as you as well. Well. Oh, take care. John. Um, John. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Go on. Son scored a 13 minute hat trick. 73, 84, mm. 86. I tell you what, if I've got one thing um, to Ben and Roger, so off you go, Son. He's, he's sacked. Gone. He's done. I tell you, the international bank is coming up soon. I think he's gone. He's gone. It, he, might, he, it might be a surprise. He might still be there, John. That may, I did say. I didn't think Leicester would win down at Spurs. I, I can't remember what what score I gave, but I I think I said four 0 Spurs. So you did. yeah, he did. I said I think I said the same. I'm not sure. Um, Maxi but, seems to be the only Newcastle player that can take take the man on. That's what we needed to do. And make it occasionally clear to always end to the powder puff shot. That is the thing. Did I make the song? I think of him, mate. He played three games and getting a muscle injury already. The guy can score a goal, but he's just not helping the team due to being out all the time. That is, I think it's Will's we're chatting about as well. Um, Grace, I mean, the thing is, right? I mean, do you think the way we're playing at the minute, I mean, are we running out of ideas? Are we being found out? A little bit. I think that everyone knows that we're gonna how, how we're gonna play, and people. Like to know that we've got Callum Wilson injured. Yeah. We had Maxi injured. Who's gonna Who's gonna get the ball? Who's gonna run a people? Who's gonna take one to ones on? Knowing that we don't have that, knowing that we're not gonna do that because we don't have that player. They have like the park, like the park today. They had ten. They had all the men behind the ball. They had ten men behind the ball. They know mm. that we're not gonna be able to run on. They know that we don't have them players to do that. That's that's why mm. we've. That's why we've lost because they know that. I think that we're going to have to, I don't know, shake something up. Maybe play. I don't know where Elliot Anderson was, and don't know if he's injured or whatever. Play him on on the side because we know he can play there. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think that it's it, it overall not a good game, but it is what it is. We haven't lost. We've got we've gotten a point. We should have we should have beat them. One hundred percent should have beat them. Mm. But we move on. Like mm. compared to the team. That it was last season, mm-hmm. you know. But I think we've just got to move. We just got to move on. That's very, very true. Six three now, Spurs. Sure. Go on. Yeah, six or three. Six three. Yeah, mm-hmm. six three. Are they? Unless they scored again, have they? Yeah. No, it's six. six. Are they? Unless, unless it's for your check. I'll find out. Well, by the way. The stats for that game today, John, this is going to blow you away for Leicester. Mm-hmm. So Leicester, 59 to 4, 59% possession for Leicester, 41 for Tottenham. Mm-hmm. 16 shots by Tottenham, 18 from Leicester. 11 on target from Tottenham, 6 on target from Leicester. 7 off target for Leicester and 2 off target for Tottenham. So Leicester's had the better of the game possession-wise mm-hmm. and they're getting one of 6-2. That is the thing. I think it's the keeper. I don't think Danny was that good a keeper. I think well, the Leicester manager is going to get sacked, isn't he? What's that, Grace? Sorry. I was going to say, I can see the Leicester manager getting sacked. What's he called again? Ben Rogers. Yeah, he, he's, he'll be the next one gone. I think he will. I mean, just Amazingly, go back from the match. Go on, go on, Tony. Amazingly, it's funny, isn't it? Son was dropped today for this game, he was dropped. And he yeah. comes on and bangs a 13 minutes hat trick. I bet Conte is thinking, oh, I'd better do this more often. <laughs> I wish we had a striker like that that comes off the bench. 
and can score a 30 mm. minute hat trick. We ain't got one, John. Not at all. Not at all. <clears throat> Not at all. And that is the problem. That needs to be beefed up in January. Beef it up. Um, just got back from the match. It, it was a shite game. We played good. Callum, Callum, okay, okay, Callum. Big up, man. But you weren't that great. But we should have beat you today. But respect to you. <clears throat> what can we do? And um, Bournemouth on the burn of the season, crying. Yeah, right. And now there's uh, everything wrong with that performance. Only Riga gets called. Now said about Isaac's awful movement. Julian's given possession away. A countless times, token years about Brazil. He will not be going to Brazil. Trust us. And um, let's have a look. <clears throat> Bournemouth gave me Steve Bruce vibes to dear, and he won't lie. We need Chip as an adjustment for the FA game, every match. To be fair, Joe, I think Alan Wilson should think about retirement as he spends more time on the sit bench than he does on the pitch, lads. It's true, though, John. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. To probably I mean, go you... coaching or something, hang his boots off. You... Yeah. Because <clears throat> when you start getting these muscle injuries and things like that, they, mm. they, over a time, they'll just keep reoccurring and reoccurring, but they'll It'll be on the simplest of things. You might just sort of pull away to jog and it'll go, oh, and then that'll be another ping and that'll be another mm. sideline job. Mm. I mean, look how long it took him to come back after his thigh strain against Man, Man United. He was out for like four mm. months, John. It's just, yeah. you know. And he, remember, Callum Wilson had two years out because of an ACL. I know, he had so, it twice, did he? <laughs> yeah, so he had two years out of the game. So when you think about it, he's, you know, he's lost two years. That's the thing. That's the thing. But as long as that this football club, I'll continue to back this guy because I think he is a decent finisher. If he was fit every single season, I tell you what, we'd be playing for England all day long. He'd be playing for England. Let's be real. But, you know, just see, we'll see when he comes back. And I hope he stays fit between when he comes at the end of the season. Let's hope that's the case. Can't guarantee it, though. And um, fair come from Gary there. Bournemouth are massive. Massive. Okay. Spurs win 6 be my word, actually 6 2. John say United to get top four ahead of us. They lost for another Ben Fad. But he's turning, he turning it around, by the way. I can't lie. Spurs win my score, Bredita. Adding down for one seat, that's an Andrew. Unlucky mate. All power line, Chip has luck for Bias. 10th in the league, three points off top six. It's hardly a crisis, Chris. It's not like, I don't mm. think the points, it's not the points, it's not the. It's what I think it's annoyed everyone's the overall performance. Like that's what like we all that we've ever wanted is a team that comes in and works hard. If it mm. comes in, works hard, wanna be there. Um, but that's what's been more annoying about it is the fact that the no one showed up today. No one showed up. No one really looked like they even wanted to, to be on that pitch. There was only Trippier who worked his mm. who worked his socks off, who who's earned his money today. The rest of them weren't very good. So for me, it's not about the it's not about the points. We've got a point, whatever, we move on. It's the overall performance wasn't very wasn't very good. Mm. That's my feeling on us. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's a fair comment there. I mean, look, at the end of the day, right? I mean, there's teams that always got games either tomorrow or they kind of play games because of the postponed because of the the Queen's funeral on Monday and the police um funds as well. They couldn't afford the funds to do it of both days. We should get another three each for one season ring as rule. Uh, no crisis, just an assessment of today's game. John, do you know true Jordy? I wish I did. I love going on my channel one day. That's a dream. That sounds like a proper game of football. Not. Well, to say we hit the post twice and they keep up on a free world is at least we finally got a pen. That's a meeting. What about, um, what are you on about? We had a word, Tony. <laughs> Yeah, well, what I'm saying, Andrew, mm. is basically against a team like Bournemouth, who are, in effect, come from the championship, the championship side, because still got a lot of them players. What I'm saying about what is, he's the type of player that would have mm. relished in a game like that. If you were putting crosses in there, he would have been a threat mm. for their defenders. Because, especially like Sinesi, they wouldn't have known how to cope mm. with him. Um, because he's a target man. And he could have mm. been... the. He could have helped yeah. probably in helping Isak by dropping the ball down for Isak onto his feet, you know, from the head, like he used to for Burnley, you know. So um, that's why I was thinking maybe would probably would have been the ideal game to play him in alongside yeah. Isak. But I think Eddie's going to start having to change his ways on his formations because the 4-3-3 is far too predictable. 
and he's been found out. And um, that's that's the sad part about it. he's been found out now, you know. So um in a way like Bruno, um, you know, some people, you know, um what I'm trying to think which game it was now. Was it the um oh bloody hell, what game was it now, John? Um, um oh, I'm trying to think back now, the games, John, Liverpool, Man City. Um Liverpool Man City. Um, Forest, not, fo- not the Forest game, John. No, uh, I think it was Palin, no the Palin, Brighton Palin. game. Brighton yeah, game. Brighton game. Brighton game. Yeah, Brighton game, John, where he was snuffled out a lot, Bruno. Yeah, um, that's where teams will find you out. And say the same way, anyhow, he's been found out now. The know he plays a four-three-three, so all teams are going to sell up to compact that four-three-three, and that's mm-hmm. what Bournemouth did today, and um, they they got it. They got lucky today because, you know, I think if um, Max St. Maximum was playing, that would have been a totally different result because oh. he would have just run at them. And, mm. But he's got the trickery as well. I mean, did, I saw at one point Almiron trying to do mm. the dancing feet and I thought, sorry, mate, it don't work because you, where's your end product after it? You know, well, at least Max, he's got a bit of that, hasn't he? You know, he has. He has now. He's got a bit of pull ups as well. We could have done run to deer. And Elliot Anderson as well. Um, Wilson breaking down in the next match. Um, John, Eddie is like store bread. Need to get rid of Big and Tony Moore, but Daniel, I think he had a few to drink, my guy. Seriously. Um, is Anderson injured? He's had a knock today, and he had a knock today. We didn't play Isaac Strength today. He's not very good with headers. Good with his feet, by the way. I can't lie. And we shouldn't have to rely on penalty against Bournemouth at home to get a point, though. We are seriously struggling to create and score an open player, and it's a little worrying. Paul, I understand what you mean, man. And I understand what you mean. You need a goal scorer if it can't depend on Wilson's fitness. Isaac, Isaac, up top our season, he'll be depending on pens and score goals and odd great goal as well. We're going to do the play rate in a minute as well. Billy's in the chat, by the way. I think we were so much expected to win. It's just typical we didn't. And Wolves, that's the one, Wolves as well. The 4 3 3 is predictable if Maxi's playing, easy to defend, to defend for you, sir. What's your take on that one, Grace? Uh, see, I think so. it, it, is a, it is a little bit cause you, because they know what the, the other team knows how to set their team up because that's what we're going to do. But I think that it depends who's playing it. Like, if we've got Maxi on the wing, he will run and he will create product and it scares the defence. Whereas today, we just didn't have that. So, the new the new we're going to have that set up so they put all the men behind the ball so we couldn't really do anything yeah that is the thing man that's the thing and you know what it is right i mean um we also got to change it up like from four 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 three three change four play four four two maybe or even play a four two three one we could play to four two three one and have a second striker as well like you know two defensive midfielders probably joel linton for one bruno's another as well and what it can break as well before we go on to the player ratings as well, um, true, this is the first game this season. I was confident to win. Typical come out of a tunnel and produce that dross that is from Paul. And just want to say one thing on um Sam's having a look who's been saying this about Miggy um Jordan Cronin. Jordan Cronin, one of the um the press guys from the Chronicle, right? He's having a right go of Miggy Amir on today. He's giving him a six, right? And he is not very happy as well. He said the most involved of Newcastle's fair cutters have had zero quality to show for it after getting a number of good positions. Yeah. And he's co- he's right. He's right, Tony. Yeah. Um, he just didn't have a great game, Mickey, did he? Um, what more can you say? Exactly. Exactly. Um, just going to go to comments we've gone for the going the player ratings as well. Um, John North, big up to you, John. Please hit the subscribe button if you can, mate. That'd be Bill. Eddie Howe is not the man for Newcastle. Okay, John, who would you take then? Who would you have to replace him then? Because I'll tell you something, right? He's done for me, I think he's done well. He's done a long term contract. Sweet. If you do, it's not Eddie's your man, who would it take? Let us know, yeah. Mickey Spoonman is what created the majority of our chances today. Yeah, you'll get ignored by most. Why do you think Trippier was getting so many opportunities to cross it in? Fair dudes. Um, David, we're not big as you, Diva. Hit the subscribe button, Dave. I think it's your first time yet. Four more far shot. I hope they go down. Um, 
Okay, Billy Boy, well done, coming to you that crap. That's Billy did down the watch along on Paul Chandler there. I don't mind his game plan if he wants them to put crosses in, they're fair enough. But if you're going to do it, get some decent cross ones in. Effie crosses pra. And um, Jordan Cronin is with Newcastle World. Sorry, but I thought it was a chronicle. I was wrong. No, Sorry. Miggy was on fine for the preseason. Where is he now? <sighs> Frustrating. Fair play to ball mouth, but I had Newcastle by three goals nil, so did I. To understand this point, but you have to be realistic as well. We aren't going to play a friendly every single game. We should be beating teams like ball mouth, and it's as simple as that, yeah. If you're gonna get top six, you've got to beat teams like ball, top eight, you've got to beat teams like ball mouth, and you've got to beat teams like Palace with great respect. Ben Rogers, according to John, will be sat next week. Well, let's go to the clear range, yeah. You know how it works. Right? Were you gonna say something, Tony? No, no, I'm just saying. I, I, yeah, I've got some reason that they'll keep him on, you know, John, because isn't he on a big contract? Wouldn't it cost him a lot to get rid of him? That's the thing. Mm. Can mm. they afford yeah. to get rid of him? That's the thing. If they can't afford to get rid of him, can they afford to get rid of Brendan Rodgers? I don't know what his, what his compensation package will be, but, yeah. you know, whatever it is, uh, yeah, I, I can't see him being sat next week. Well, he may do, I don't know. Depends what yeah. best I think. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting. In national breaks coming up soon, and look, we have to see what happens on that sort of thing. Things happen in football, and um, we have to see. It could be sad time, eight times. We'll see. Um, we go for the player ratings, guys. So I know how it works. So I would give a player out of ten, including the fans and the manager. Right? Your fans could join in as well. We are honest with our ratings as well. We're not going to BS a boot. We just say how it is. Yeah, and if you don't agree with us. Price them all, but at the end of the day, we don't care. Let's go on to Greer. So I'll give you Nick Pope. I mean, he couldn't do anything for the goal, but he had a quiet afternoon for me. Two see two yeah. three series, and that's it. So I mean, how many marks out of ten would you give Nick? I'm I just mean, gonna say I'm gonna say five, just because he didn't really do nothing. Okay, fair enough. But like he just didn't, he just we just didn't have a lot of save. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, okay, um, I'll go with you, Tony. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you Kieran Trippier. Um, <clears throat> I thought Kieran Trippier had a great game today. Um, you know, doing his right back, right, um, his right back, right wing roles. Um, leading from the back. Um, all through the match, he was, you know, um, always vocal. Um. Mm. He couldn't quite get the ball off Isak to take the penalty because I think he wanted to take the penalty, but Isak kept a hold of the ball and says, no, no, that's mine. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, he, he had a good game and he was trying to um, be instrumental in everything we were doing. Um, and I thought, you know, not just his leadership qualities, but the quality he's mm -hmm. got on the ball as well. I mean, it, he's got a, he's a, he's a great crosser of the ball. Um mm -hmm. Hence why he's nicknamed the Berry Beckham. Yeah. Um, I'm giving Trippy an eight. And man of the yeah. match. A man of the match. Star man, yeah. Do you agree with that, Grace? Um, Trippy a star yeah. man? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's, he's, he's a leader, isn't he? You can, you can tell he goes on that pitch. He calms stuff down. He's just a leader, but yeah. Fair enough. I'm really smiling because... Um, Ian in the chat said 25 mil to sack Rogers. I'll be praying for the sack. And um, yes, it is all it is, man. We go to the Jesus. other side. Yeah, 25 mil for sack. Bless. Yeah, but you you would look, you would do that, John, wouldn't you? Go just go to work, get sat and get 25 million pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Give us a check. Yeah. I'll just gladly rack away. Thank you very much but indeed. Steve, Steve Bruce must be. Must be loaded, mustn't even the amount of times he's been sacked and getting Aww. compensation. I'd like to see his bank balance. Oh no, I tell you, I'll go bank. Talking about bank balances, there was a um, there was a thing in the local paper in Newcastle. This was a oh, how long ago is this? Must have been about six, seven years ago, maybe. And it's a funny story. I read it, and um, mm. I think it was in the Chronicle or the Sunday Sun, because mm. the Sunday Sun's part of the Chronicle. And uh, this lady said, um, I got my bank statement through. And she's when I opened it, she says, I realised it wasn't my bank statement. She says, it was Shea Givens' bank statement. And she says, um, all I'm going to say is, 
Shea Givens not gotten ovaries for the rest of his life. And I just thought that's absolutely brilliant. But how the hell did the bank make that error? Flipping <laughs> heck. I tell you what, that could, cost someone, that could cost someone a flipping job, by the way. Do you know what I mean? Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ on the bike. I tell you what. Oh, man. That is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Could be a low, could be an error sort of thing. Poor. Five out of ten for the 12, man. This is a library. Wow. Let's the relegation candidates at this rate. They're going. We'll be back. That's what I read somewhere, Ian, but I don't know it's true. Miggy nine out of ten. John, you must be drinking, mate. Maybe Raj is hoping to be sacked. And um, I think Marino has a high sack appearance when you add them all together. I have to agree. Foxy, 8 out of 10. Cross to port and failed to block the cross for the goal conceded. That's from um, Foxy. Let's move on to the next one. On the other side, um, I will go with uh, Matt Target, Chris. I mean, look. Today, I think it set pieces today was poor out of the year, yeah. and he lost too many aimless balls down that line. He didn't get forward enough for me, didn't help our face as much, and he only made about two or three crosses on the afternoon. How much would you give him? Um, to be fair, he's lucky he's getting the six. Mm -hmm. I think there was, you know, there was some, some of his balls were good, some of them weren't very good. I don't think he really um, fed Ryan Fraser anything decent. He gave quite a lot of free kicked away for silly fouls yeah, man. so yeah he's getting the mm. six fair enough fair enough six out of ten for target i thought he was gen off he's a bit generous there but it's your player rating square so i respect me for it um <laughs> i'm gonna give you Fabian Chartoni. i mean a lot of straight passes to us today and he got caught out position for the goal i thought he was poor today yeah <clears throat> not his best game fabian shared by ml and then even the shot selection, having to go from 30 yards out, if, you know, um, he was just poor all around today. Um, so I'm going to give Shaw a five. Fair enough. I, I think mean, that's fair enough, John. Yeah. I think he's lucky to be getting that sort of in my opinion as well. I mean, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Chris. Um, excuse me. Dan Byrne, for me, he did a brilliant tackle in the box by on Solanke when he was clean through, basically. He just got there. For me personally, right, I think Botman's missed a deer. I'm not going to lie. But he got put through the scent later on. Yes, he's been in solid to deer. And um, what million marks out of 10 would you give him? Um, six. And that's me being generous. Mm -hmm. so he, didn't really, he didn't really do a lot for me. Yeah, six. Fair enough. Um, Tony, um, I'm going to give you Joel Linton. To me, and I'm not going to lie, it was an off day for him today. He lost the ball a couple of times, yeah, and a lot of people ain't going to realise that as well. It was so to let to Bournemouth break in. He was not lucky when he hit the post, but his touch was off again. But listen, I like his work for it, but on a, it's been an off day for him, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, it was. It was a very off day for Joel Linton today. He had a couple of bursts and he tried to <laughs> he tried to get try to get things moving, but not really at his best today. Um I don't, do you know what what do I give him? Because I, I don't like to criticize our players because he's play, he's been mm. he's been the most improved player in the team he that has. we've had. Um but I think sadly today, um I have to give Joel Linton a four. I've got to be honest with you. I think that sounds about right. I mean, that's the worst he's played for a long, long time. And I'm a big Joel Linton fan as well. But it's so frustrating. It really, really is. Go on, Grace. I've got to give you your main man, Joe Willock. For me, he took a bit of deer. He, that shot he had to deer was ridiculous, man. For about 25 hours, he went miles over the bar. He's and that just been so the afternoon. And what I want to see from him now, where is this late runs from into the box? I have not seen it at all this season yet. And it seems to me, when I watch him, it seems to me he has a handbrake on. I want to see the real Joe Willow come back. I want to see him, what he did when he came out on loan. And I'm still waiting for that. I know, so so am I, so am I. Um, you know, I always I always rate Joe Willock, but if I'm totally honest today, he didn't he wasn't 
he wasn't on his top form. So I'm gonna very it kills us, but I'm gonna give him a five. And that's me being nice to him. Mm-hmm. So I'm burn seven out of ten. And um even Foxy said that um, you know, gave um Coppolace a four as well. I'm gonna give you Bruno Joe. Um today, it's great to see him back, right? Because you barely missed him. Yeah, I can't lie. But first half, I think he did Irish, but the second half, I think he looked a bit leggy and he just failed to make a telling impact onto the game. And also as well, he wasn't helped with the players around him, which he got a bit frustrated. And when he gambled the first only first minute, look, I still think you did okay today. Yeah, I thought Bruno was all right. I mean, he'd done some good passing, you know. Um, some of the passes to the Trippier or to Almiron, you know, they were there. Mm. Um, you know, he was trying. He, he won the free kick, which obviously he hit the post from Trippier. Um, you know, he he did as much as he could physically do after he's been out injured. You know, so he's just come back, and um, I thought he did all right today, John. Um, Probably tiredness, mm-hmm. and he was taken off after 71 minutes. Um, was probably the right call to be fair. Um, I I'm not going to be harsh with Bruno because I think he, you know, um, I'm going <laughs> to stay. Let's give Bruno a seven. Yeah, I think, um, I stand to my right in it today. You did try today. And um, listen, at the end of the day, he just, it's got to be done. I mean, Fox told the end is harsh, but I just want to protect the ball bell on occasions. He gives it away in dangerous position way, way, way too much. Um, Bruno did well to win three kicks. And uh, Fox, he did it today a lot. It adds a point just because he had a plus two. Bruno, seven out of ten, was okay. We could see the look goal after he was placed. And a six from Bruno as well. Um, I mean, did you get first or six? We haven't done Fraser. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was. Um, have we We've done Willick. It's the last one. We've done uh, Willick, Bruno. Fraser's yeah, next. Oh, yeah, you gave me some. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Oh, that's fair enough. I'm sorry. I'm going to give you um, Ryan Fraser then um, on Grace. Um, to me today, he denied me a great save by Neto from outside the box mm-hmm. in the first half. He runs and runs, but he lacks end product. And that is the problem with him this season. Do you know what I mean? But he blew by the mouth fans all afternoon. And to be honest, rightly took off after 70 minutes. I mean, what do you think of Ryan Fraser? How did he? Yeah, but like slightly sticking up for Ryan Fraser. He hasn't played for a while, has he? He's only he came <clears> on for a sub a little bit. He hasn't had many games, but yeah, he had that shot that, that he saved or he hit, hit the post or whatever. But apart from that, he didn't really deliver anything at all. Um, I'm going to say like four. A four. That's yeah. fair enough. <laughs> uh, no, thanks. Your ratings at the end of the day. I've got a bit in the chat. So I thought Willock was our best player. The only one driving forward and trying things. Being a bit kind there, Grace. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> four for four. I mean, was you coming in, Tony? Four. Well, I don't think you was that good, John. Probably a two or a three. <laughs> fair enough. Then you got Billy saying that Willock's the best player as well. And um, just go and face that too, because that won't F a long goal, or you had to shoot the right way around. He said, I said, I said that as well. Um, face that, face that, shame no good, cost him three. Billy gets a 10 for his match commentary. I said, Neto was a 10 for me. I'll give him an eight out of 10 for me. Becoming a trend keeper, having the world is against us. No sound, and good people really had that bit of energy that many others were lacking today. Gives the opinions there, but bottom line, Newcastle are not drilled on playing against organized teams who part of the bus. That is the problem. That is the problem. Um, we go with um, I'm gonna give you Miggy Tawny because for me today, go on, let you, I'll let you take over. Yeah, Miggy didn't have a great game, didn't have his breast gear. I mean, he was all right against Palace and he wasn't happy when he got taken off in that game, but today. <clears throat> Um, he just he just didn't la- didn't look his best today, Miggy. Um, mm-hmm. Nothing from him, no end product really. Um, he looked to be a bit lost, to be fair, and mm-hmm. you know, um, Trippier was giving him the ball in good areas, but he just doesn't know what to do with it, does he? Really? Um, 
Oh, rating now, that's the thing, John. What do I give him as a number? Um, I'm going to be kind to him here, but I'm going to give him a four. Yeah, for me, Conte went backwards as well, but when he gets the ball, the trouble is he's not hurting up, up opponents enough, yeah? And that is the thing. He is so easy to defend against as well, guys. You know what I mean? Tell me if I'm wrong or right. He is so easy to defend against, right? He's incredibly one-footed, yeah? And when he gets the space, right? He just lacks confidence, man. I'm not, I'm looking at him, but I'm judging from today's game. And it is so frustrating because we can do much better than that, man. You can, John. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I would have given Miggy, I would have given uh, Miggy a nine out of ten to that one, attending games. I haven't even done that yet. Simple as that. Um, Miggy saying that um, Alec is giving him a two out of ten. That's fair enough. And I'll give you um, Isak scored a penalty today, but other than that. He was starved of service to be Let's be honest about it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's a low, almost low block as well. We didn't play to his strengths. And i tell you something for me personally. I think he needs a partner. We need to play um, 4-4-2. And if you play 4-4-2, quick move, movement as well. Cool. He, has to, he used to play that. He used to play a 4-4-1-1. Bring yeah. that back, Eddie. Definitely, and I think um, fair play to him for um, taking the ball and like sit, not letting Trippier take it. I think I think to stand up to your captain and, be, and for those ones who's so experienced to trip him like no no I'm taking it. I think it's fair fair play. But yeah, I think he you know he didn't he didn't have a great game. He wasn't given anything to to cross to to score. He was not given absolutely. He was given nothing today. So a five yeah. a five because he just didn't he didn't. He just didn't get anything to be able to create anything or do anything. So, yeah, five. Hopefully, mm. hopefully we get this international break. Guess um, maybe Wilson partnered up with him, or at least Saint Maximin comes back. He he'll feed something. He'll get something in the box. He'll run on. He hopefully will feed him something in because we paid sixty odd million for him. You know, he's. We want him to score. He's, he's you know, he's going to be our main striker because we cannot rely on Callum Wilson. So he's not going to be scoring goals. There's nothing to deliver around him. Fair enough. Fair enough. And um, Fox is giving him a three out of ten awful movement. He that needs to find better positions and come in front of the defenders. It's fair enough. And he's like too constantly out of position, dropping way too deep. He's getting low ratings as well. Isak is on a point of in here as well. And um, he looks a bit lost. Um, three decent crosses, he did get in, it was nowhere near, but I no, don't think he's like a go on. No, I was just gonna say, right, we forget he's played three, is it three games? He's three played, games he played. he's, he's played John. three games. He doesn't, you know, we're all I don't know what everyone else is expecting, but like he doesn't know the team as well as what some of them know, know the team and know Eddie how and how how they like to play, he's played three games. So, like, I think this. Make him more uh, of a chance, and he's got to get up to pace with the Premier yeah. League as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when he might have the Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know what? He needs to beef himself up as well. If he beefs himself up, then it'll be absolutely fine. Joel Linton's beefed himself up when he when um when um and Eddie Howe. Um, we could go into the subs. I think that's our first eleven match player ratings. We could go to the subs bench. We started you, um, Tony. I'm so hard to give him in. I'm going to give you Jacob Murphy. He came with us at the first minute. Now, when you need someone's going to change the game, when you need someone is going to produce a bit of magic, Jacob Murphy is not the guy. Well, he's certainly not a super sub, that's for sure, John. More like a shitty sub, but uh, yeah. Um, doesn't fill you with confidence. When he comes on, you look at him and think, oh, well, that's the game gone now. That's... That's a that's a, that that's a draw now, or you know, um, he doesn't offer anything, John. He does not offer anything whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. He seems to have lost a he seems to have lost a lot of confidence. Murphy has, you know, um, last season he had a couple of okayish games, but he was the woodwork specialist last year. I think he wanted to become a carpenter because he kept it. He loves the woodwork every time he's got that ball in the feet because, uh, yeah, you know, against um, Norwich, he hit the post. Against Brentford, he hit the post. Against um, Man United, he hit the post. 
So I th- he, obviously he wants to become a carpenter after he's finished playing football because he likes the woodwork. Um, but Murphy is just... If I could give him a minus, John, I would even give him a minus. That's how bad he is. But I'm going to give him a zero because he's just absolutely dog. Oop. Yeah, no I, I would just get... Do you know what I would do? I know it'll cost a lot for the owners. I would just say next summer, do you know what? To shake with you, rip your contract up, F off and find somebody else on a free. Well said, well said. I'll tell you what, the last song's about reach sort of free. We don't point any punches at all, yeah. <clears throat> we just say how it is, right? And yeah, people, if you don't if you don't agree with us, then cry some more. I know people's putting zeros out of ten as well. Big up to Les, by the way. I hope you came yet. Hope you're well. Disappointed day. Look like we lost our way. No person like earlier. That's another thing. We didn't read really press, didn't we? When Bournemouth had the ball. That's a frustrating thing as well. Um, Gracie, Gracie, I'm gonna give you Sean Longstaff. I don't know why they brought him on the pitch. I really don't. I don't yeah. really know, even know what to say. Mm. Um, anyway, I know why they brought him on because Bruno isn't isn't ninety minutes fit. That's why they brought him on. I'd rather have Elliot Anderson, but obviously there's a niggle or whatever there. Yeah. Um. I, I, to be fair, I have nothing to say on him. It was poor. It was poor. So a, a one. That's all I have to say on him. He was poor. 20, he had 20 minutes, around that 20 minutes suite, and he lost possession four or five times, and he actually made us worth when he came on that pitch. That just sums up the guy, I'm telling you, it really, really is. And you know what? I'm not, I mean, Holly Blades, right? I mean, um, had a right go. He had a, she had a right go at fans, cussing out Sean Longstaff about his performances, yeah? But I can see why the fans are just having a go at Sean Longstaff. He ain't good enough. He's just not really good enough. I'm sorry, but... For me, he's not going to get us in the top yet in the future. He's not. And um, Miggy has to work with it, but always looks to pull the ball onto his left foot. That might work in the EFL of a league, but not in the Premier League because he'll get found. Dude. Murphy came on and started running in position in the places he shouldn't have been and get it in other players where he was floating around like he was thought he was Zizu, he was rank. He thought he was floating like a butterfly, things like be. He does neither. Let's be real. He's not Muhammad Ali, and he hasn't got that punch of power anyway. So there you go. Well done, Billy. Well said. Um, should have brought Botman on for Bruno and played Botman to CDM. No, he's a centre defender, mate. One point five. Sorry, John. On oh. on that comment there, just to, on that, back on that comment about uh, Bruno, that what you could have done was this is two ways you could have done this. You could have brought Botman on for Bruno, but you put Botman in the back and you can move Share into centre defensive he, midfield because he's done that before. He has. He has. Totally agree there. Totally agree. You got Sorry for all... interrupting you, John, but that no, was just no, what fine. I just wanted to, yeah. No, 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 that's fine, mate. That's absolutely fine. You're cool. You're fine. I just wish Anderson was fit. This would have been a great game for him. And I tell you what, I think they probably roughed him up as well. But then again, what can you say? Um, yeah, I was going to say, Eddie Howe well. We've got to um, give Eddie Howe a rating as well, right? I think both can do it as well. I mean... Um, no one do a three, two, one. He just saying non back. Um, Grace, I go with you first. I mean, I rate. I do you know I rate anyhow. I think. I think you may have to rethink his tactics a little bit for the next game. Um, it's just I do I do uh, six. I think that he got us. I don't know what six. I'm just gonna give him six, and it kills us. But yeah. I think you just need to think up his tactics a little a little bit. Fair enough. And Tony and um, rated for Eddie Howell. Yeah, um not the best of games today, but um I, I'm 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 the same as what Grace is. I'm gonna say a six mm-hmm. as well. Um, you know, um the only mistake you made was bringing on um Jacob Murphy, you know. Um mm-hmm. But, you know, we ain't got the quality, so what can we do? We've only got to go with what's on the bench, unfortunately. But then mm. I, I, I've said before, John, have we not got a right winger in the under 23? So it could have been better than what Jacob Murphy is. I'm sorry, you know. Um, totally. There's somebody in there who could have been, you know. Totally. You agree. forgot about uh, Chris Wood coming on, didn't you, John? I did. Well, I'll give him a standard five because he didn't get much on, sort of thing. So I'll give him a standard five. And, um, 
I was going to say, I'll give him a one just for coming on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, he can go to Man United in January window. He can go to Man United. So, I mean, Macy would be happy at that, wouldn't she? <laughs> you know Macy, don't you, Macy? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's lovely, you know what I mean? If you mentioned Chris Wood to her, oh, man, she will absolutely wake you up, you know what I mean? So, and um, got some comments as well. Billy's made a good point. Bottom should have started. He gives creativity for the back as well as our best defender. Totally get He's our best defender by a mile. So, when alongside Murphy on the pitch, we're doing the nine men. John, you're absolutely right, mate. Totally agree. Exactly that. We need to be wood, but only if you're going to play that system. Five out of ten for Eddie would have been higher, but he didn't keep Ben Murphy on well. On today's performance, whether he put him on or not, he would have got no more than the six. And he he's got a five today because I thought Botman should have started. Yeah. And he brings yeah. Murphy in wrong because after me, he's a five today. As much as I love Eddie, he is a five. And um, got one here for uh, Foxy. Safe to say, San Diego Munoz won't be sent at the club much longer. Sadly, he never got a fair chance. And atmosphere by fans from the middle sounds was really emotional. Thank you for that. I was going to ask that question. How on Tindall? Five out of ten for shite subs, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I was going to say before we go, right, and um, we, we've got, um, I was going to say, um, we've got no Premier League games, right, um, got Fulham two weeks' time. The good thing is, guys, right, the World Cup's coming up in, no in November, right, and hopefully, hopefully, you're going to have two more games after the World Cup away to Leicester City on Boxing Day and Leeds United at home, right? And then the transfer window opens again. And I tell you what, Tony, for what we've seen that day, right? Let's be real, right? We're going to need to beef up the team. They need to beef up the subs bench because I'll tell you something now. They've been a year under new ownership. They've been a year under Eddie Howe. He must know now he is good enough and he's not good enough and he needs to sort it out very quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> the subs bench needs to be beefed up because... Uh... It's it's just it's just not good enough, John. Mm. It's just not good enough. And you haven't got you, you need impact players who can come off that bench and hit mm. the ground running when you get them on. You know, you look at Man City, they can play like I said the other week, they, they took Holland off after scoring a hat trick against Forrest and brought on Alvarez and he bangs two in. Yeah, he ain't got somebody on the bench to do that. Spurs brings drops on, bring him off the bench, and he scores a 13 minute hat trick today. We ain't got that, so yeah, we need to beef up the. We need to beef it up, and um, but at the end of the day, it goes back to the fact is, um, the previous yeah. owner, uh, mate Ashley, decided to run us like a sports direct shop instead, of, you know, and did nothing and just sold so, sold player after player after player, and um, you know, but nothing yeah. you can do with it's down to the bad management of him and the owners are left to pick up the pieces and it, it, it's hard you can't just do it all in one hot one fell soup you got it, it takes time to get rid of these players um you know we we got rid of federico fernandez he was on the bench again today for elche he's not started for them yes that, that is not great that is not great our sort of thing but like i say wish him very well but he wanted to get first team didn't get it do you know what I mean? But I tell you what, though, right, um, guy, um, Grace, I don't know if you've heard of him, Andrea Santos from Vasco de Gama. I don't know if you've heard of him. No. He's an 18 year old kid. I tell you what, today, I think he would have made a difference today. 18 years old, right? And Foxy's talking about him, by the way. And um, like I say, bringing some youth players. Um, we haven't got option, you're right, but we see it's only been 12 months, remember. And um, Foxy is saying, How do we? I uh, hope we get Andre Santos on Vasco. He's still a kid, but thinks he's good enough to play straight away in first team. Scored last night as well. If you haven't heard of this guy, right, he uh, plays Vasco da Gama in the second division, the Brazilian second division. Remember that people, Brazilian second division, and he's carrying the team as an 18 year old kid. And how would we better off bring up Richie and his lack of legs instead of Murphy? I totally wow. agree with that one. Yeah. Because, John, I'm not being funny. Richie could have come on and done better in the time that he was on than what um, Jacob Murphy does. Because when Richie comes on, he get that guy gives 110%. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been a great servant for this club. And, um, but I, I would have brought him on instead of Murphy, to be fair. And he, we might have had a chance. You don't know. You just don't know, John. 
Exactly, exactly. I totally agree. Um, okay, I know um, you guys are busy later. Uh, and this used to give good crosses from the right against Benfica. Eddie Sophie did not want to hurt this former club. That's from Jackie B. And um, Ian Foxy, have you seen that young Italian lad? I forgot his name. Scored like eight million goals or something. There could be so many Italian lads there as well. As a Raspadori. He's got a nap in the season long loan, by the way. Um, if it's gonna be him. Um, go back to me his comment. I agree. I've got to bring this comment as well, all right? Before you wrap up, look at this comment, right? If you lose to Fulham, Eddie Howe won't know what hit him. Eddie Howe started to sound more like Steve Bruce every single week. I don't believe that for a second, guys. I really don't. No, no, that's absolutely no. disgusting to think that. I mean, you know. Fulham's going to be a test, don't get me wrong, because, you know, they're playing good football. And, um, yeah. you know, um, I didn't have them to go down in my Premier League prediction, by the way, at the beginning of the season. My bottom three are Bournemouth, Everton and Leeds. Um, hmm. But Fulham will be a tough game. But, you know... <sighs> I can see us going there and getting a result because Fulham are going to come at us, so we'll have spaces to get in behind them. Yeah. Hopefully, we've got Maxi back. Hopefully, we, we might need have Wilson back. Mm. We've got we to hit that to. game and we've got to win that game, John. Or at least, again, we can't say we want to go there for a draw, but if we get a draw, it's still a positive. It's a point. It's a positive. It's only a negative when you lose and you don't gain any points. At least with a good draw, you're still gaining a point regardless. I'm mm -hmm. still 10th in the table, you know. We only lost one game. So, so far, I mean, I know today wasn't the greatest of game and we all had a, a good morn about it and rightly so. Mm -hmm. But ah, yeah. we need some fans when they come on with comments like that, that anyhow should be on his way out and things like that. Give your heads a bloody mm. wobble. She has. has lost it. He's lo yeah, he's right what he's saying. He has lost the plot. Because I'm sorry, 80s game in 1982, there's no way Eddie Howe is going anywhere. And I'm sorry, it's not just down Eddie Howe, it's down the fact of the mismanagement over the last 14 years until this takeover was finally gone through. That's where you want to start pointing your finger up. If you want to start pointing the finger, point the finger at Ashley because he is the cause of this. And the owners are now doing the repair job. It's like it's like the club needs major surgery. It's like a major operation. You can only do so much at any one time. You can't do it all at once. Well said, Tony. Well said, well said. Well, I'm going to wrap up there because I know you will have your um, Indians or Chinese or whatever it may be yeah. sort of thing. I mean, the next three games we've got coming up is Fulham up a weir, Brentford or Hobby up for the Brentford game. I'll be on holiday on the 15th of October. Guess who you've got next? Um, after, on the 16th of October, Grace's Man, team, Man United. <laughs> only joking. You know, I'm only joking, Grace. You know oh, that. no. I think you're anyway. Take it, take it. I say I ignore you anyway. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> there's only one know. red. There's only one red here, and that is you. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that's baby by the way. I tell you, any time says John's a red, then I guess you've got to listen to her. But I'm not <laughs> a red. I'm not that's a red. It. I'm not guilty, me lord. I tell you what, I get me lawyer sort of thing. Listen. <laughs> Go, I look up in not at F and just no pineapple on my pizza. <laughs> That's cheap as it will get happening. You can see it happening. I'll tell you what, there'll be questions for that as well. Right, we're gonna wrap up there, guys. And um, you know, don't go away, guys. Um, just a two minute chat as well. If you like the video, like what you see, hit the like button, also hit the sky button. And if you like to super chat, click on the the um, you know, so I can do the dollar sign. And if you'd like to become a member, it's 99p. And where do you find your socials, Tony? Yep, so you can find me down there at Tony Tony Thirty. Well, he's took it off now at Tony Tony Thirty One. Um, there you go. Give me a follow, and I'll follow you back. And if you haven't checked it out, go and check out www.northwestmags.com. Great website. It only started on Thursday. Um, set up by Sefton Mag, who often comes in the chat. Very nice guy. Um. There's a lot on there. You'll find the podcasts on there. So you'll find John Sinclair TV on there. Um, 
You'll also find there's a forum on there. So if you want to have a discussion, like if you want to discuss today's game and, you know, um, with other like-minded Newcastle fans, then head down, head on there and have your say. Um, if you've got, if you're a fan that doesn't live in the northeast and you live anywhere else in the world or in the UK, um, you know, anywhere that you're on, you've got your shirt on, and if you've got a photo of yourself for your shirt, and you're a nice landmark or whatever, send your pictures in to uh, Sefton. Just hit the uh, mail sign button, the envelope button, and um, I'm sure Sefton will put them on in the gallery for you. Mm-hmm. So um, go and check it out. It's a great website. And that's northwestmags.com. Brilliant stuff. And check out his channel as well. Well, Sefton Mag, he's an amazing guy. Grace, where do we find you on your um, socials, Pet? I am G underscore Thompson X on Twitter. I will follow anyone back if you follow us. Exactly. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. And, um, you know, thanks to her mum. I got her there first because her mum got her on the <laughs> channel as well. I tried to get your mum on the channel as well, but she won't come on. <laughs> no, my mum won't come on. <laughs> one, one day, probably with a title, she may do. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't but... think she was. <laughs> oh, bless. She's still, she's still young anyway. She's still a young mum, I'm sure. But, um, there you go. Well, guys, um, don't go away, like I said. Um, guys, um, we'll be back tomorrow. We don't know what channel we're going to do tomorrow, what topic we're going to do. Keep your eyes open for that. Any breaking news, any big news, we'll let you be straight on live. And also, just keep watching our channels. And um, the warm-up channel we've done a day, um, guys, we 460 views on the warm-up we've done today. Tony and Sap, this channel, we did 374 as well views as well so thank you so much indeed for supporting me channel and um got one here from Ala coffee what's the name of the fox in the back of grace's room i don't know this is my mom's office so i don't know <laughs> i'll oh, ask her yeah. i'll ask her and get back to you no i'm sat in my mom's office tonight <laughs> bless you big up big up there she also well thanks very much and um i'm gonna get some wrapped up and i'll be back tomorrow like i said me and tawny and try and get back are you doing anything tomorrow grace or i'm at work all day tomorrow oh, take a flipping day off man i told you should we have one day could. I, I am she, off on Monday. I'm off on Monday. I wasn't yeah. in anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm off on Monday. Yeah. Do you try to get on Monday, or you got a thing? You got plans, haven't you? Or got plans? I don't know. I, I will get back to you. I'll let you know. <laughs> Please do. That'd be brilliant, man. That'd be brilliant. Well, listen. Thanks for coming on, and I really love you guys. And um, you know, absolutely amazing as well. And um, just got one more comment. I'm gonna read out, and that's me. Like, thank you, John. That's I like coffee. We like you as well, Miet. And thanks for coming. Until then, have a great Saturday evening, wherever you decide to do, whether you're going to the club or whether you're watching the rules or whether you're going to the pub, having a good time. Whatever you decide to do, please be careful. Right. And until then, it's a goodbye for now and watch what right. you're doing.